One year ago today, an attempted prison break left four people dead. Since then, we've uncovered problems at the prison, problems that inmates took advantage of when trying to escape. We've spoken with the family members and we've detailed reforms that North Carolina officials say they're enacting in the aftermath. So what has actually changed in the last year? 13 News Now investigative reporter Laura Geller joins us with that story. The loved ones left behind feel their situation has only gotten worse. Every time they hear of an injured officer or inmate at a prison, their anger grows. The families and a lawmaker who has taken up their cause still want answers and accountability. These are the victims of the Pasquatank attacks. Their families want you to remember their names and faces. They motivate Representative Bob Steinberg, who represents the area. Well, I understand their their frustration with the snail's pace uh, that seems to be taking place in terms of reform. Correctional officers Justin Smith and Wendy Shannon, sewing plant manager Veronica Darden, and maintenance mechanic Jeffrey Howe all died from their injuries. I can assure them of this, and that is that they did not die in vain. Their deaths forced a focus on all aspects of prisons. Steinberg says he gets regular calls from those working behind bars, and they tell him even a year later, changes that mean something are still needed. So he believes those at the top need to go. They're the ones that are running this operation, and until that change is made, you're not going to see real change because there's no trust and there's no confidence. In some ways, lawmakers and officials have been able to make fixes in the last year. They gave corrections officers a 4% raise and doubled the death benefits given to families of those killed in the line of duty. North Carolina Department of Public Safety administrators say they've worked to recruit and retain officers to combat staffing shortages. They've tried to do a better job of finding contraband on inmates and increase the consequences if inmates assault staff. And one of the first things Steinberg will propose in this next session is lowering the retirement for corrections officers from 30 to 25 years of service. He hopes this will motivate veterans to stay on the job. It is uh, like serving in a war zone every single day, not just a true duty, but serving in a war zone every single day for, for 20 years, 25 years. That takes its toll. For now, that situation leads him to this conclusion. And I don't feel that uh, uh, they are much safer than they were one year ago. We've made great progress, but we have a long way to go. We reached out to the governor's office and DPS. In addition to the changes we told you about, spokespeople sent us statements about the somber anniversary and progress they've made. Despite repeated requests, though, neither would directly address Steinberg's concerns about leadership of the agencies. You can find more of those details on our website. Laura Geller, 13 News Now. And just today, we learned the prosecutor is seeking the death penalty for the inmates charged in the prison break attempt. We've brought you all of the developments in this story in the past year and will continue to update you on these cases.